Welcome back friends to another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Lids87 here, and in today's video we're going to be recapping the new upcoming character Mog to see how worthy they are of your precious tickets and or gems. Now before I do get into it though friends, I do want to give a quick, I guess, announcement so to say is I did let my Discord server know, but now I'm letting you guys know that the streams, my Twitch streams for this week, they're going to be hit or miss because uh, my wife and I have been doing some home remodeling and we're trying to finish. Uh, rather soon as I have my in-laws visiting later this week so I've been I've been at it since uh, the weekend and I'm trying to finish up that we're remodeling the downstairs bathroom and we're doing like an outside garden area all right friends so again twitch streams will be hit or miss I will try to stream before uh, Thursday as, as that's when they're coming so because I, I haven't streamed in, <laughs> in almost a week so all right friends so that is my announcement for you guys and before we actually get into the actual video, shout outs where shout outs are due, as this is where I pull my stats from. We got the Materia Bot, the, the Database, and Compendium. And shout outs to the Database and the Compendium, as that's where I pull a lot of the graphics or assets that you guys see on here. For example, like the icons or some of the, uh, the, the illustrations for the characters, right? So those links will be down below in the description for you guys to check out for yourselves. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and talk about Mog. Now since Mog is a new character being introduced into the game, I will be giving Mog just a little bit more TLC with this kind of format in the form that I will talk about Mog's buffs a little bit more. And I might just adopt this into my upcoming How Worthy Are They videos. Alright friends, so Mog is coming into the game from Final Fantasy VI. Mog is a ranged water type attacker support debuffer? Was Mog a red mage in the actual game? Let me know down below in the in the comments or blue mage or whatever they're called and of course mog will be getting an ld weapon now just a quick recap about the character is that mog is a cleansing bray batter hp healer debuffer there's supposed to be there's supposed to be a comma there and nothing but pure adorableness all right if you do not find mog adorable i don't know what's wrong with you mog, i i don't know what it, what to say about that but mog is freaking adorable okay so the very first buff that mog is going to be granting himself is dragon horn and it is granted from mog skill one Jump. Dragon Horn is a 12 turn buff that is going to increase Mog's attack and max brave by 10% and the party's max brave and attack by 40% while decreasing the enemy's speed by 10%. Now this, this is important because Mog's brave battery and the brave regen he can grant to the party is based off of max brave. So the higher the max brave, the more battery your party members are going to receive. This next buff is where it's at for Mog. Water Harmony is a special effect that Mog grants himself for 8 turns with his second, abil uh, second ability Water Harmony. Water Har Harmony does actually break battery your party members. So with Water Harmony what this is going to do, this is going to enchant Mog with water by 20%. Mog's abilities are water based although one of his uh, follow ups Plasma is water and thunder based. This is going to give the party members a, an HP regen of 10% of max HP. Now, mind you, this is an HP regen over so over time kind of thing. So just be mindful with the bosses that love to spam HP attacks as you might not be able to keep up. Now, this is it right here, okay? This is what I say makes up Mog. After an HP attack, one of two follow-up follow-ups will happen if a, if the party members if your party members any of them have debuffs on them el nino the kid will be triggered as a follow-up so this is going to do damage and this will cleanse two debuffs uh, on your entire party or each party member will be cleansed of two debuffs this also includes framed debuffs not a bad way to cleanse debuffs it's not i mean it's not uh, like all the debuffs but hey two per turn when every time mog hp attacks that is beautiful in my own damn personal opinion if there are no debuffs on your party members plasma is triggered instead as the follow-up which is going to be damage and then there is a 15 percent chance to inflict confuse on the enemy for one turn those not familiar or a little bit newer to the game treat confuse almost like a paralysis all right, so when the enemy is inflicted with Confuse, they are unable to perform any forms of actions. All right, friends, so not bad. So either so either party cleansing or some form of debuff towards the enemy. So again, this is where a lot of uh, Mog's utility 
will come for will come from when you add him onto your team composition. Mog's final buff, Warrior of the Moogles for 6 turns, is granted after using Mog's EX ability, Moogle Rush, which is going to increase your party's stolen and gained max rate of overflow by 20%. And if your party member's HP is above the 50% HP threshold, their brave damage is going to be increased by 20%. Now, mind you, this is a buff on Mog that Mog grants himself. So if you have other units on the team composition, like Lightning, who loves to act back to back to back and steal all, the, all those wonderful turns, or even Terra, after using Terra's LD ability to act back to back to back, they can fully benefit from Mog's 20% Brave Damage up as long as their HP is above that 50% HP threshold. Now, if you want to pair this up on top of other units, for example like Sierra, now we have 50% Brave Damage up towards the entire party. So if you are a newer player and are lacking in forms of ways to increase your party's Brave Damage, I would seriously consider adding Mog to your team composition. Confused. Now, we did talk about Confused, but I did put it here as they're with Plasma Plus, which we're going to talk about here in a second. There's a 30% chance to inflict Confused. And the last debuff is Water and Thunder Resist for four turns. Now, this is one frame debuff that lowers the Water and Thunder Resistance. Now, remember that I mentioned that Mog does water-based brave damage with all, it pretty much his entire kit, but with Plasma Plasma Plus, it's Water and Thunder based. Now, Water and Thunder Resist debuff is inflicted with Jump, Serial Jump, which is Mog's first ability, Jump, which upgrades to Serial Jump after using Jump once, but after you use Serial Jump, it's going to revert back to Jump, right, friends? And it's also inflicted with Mog's second ability, Water Harmony, so this pretty much allows Mog, Mog to hit harder. Mog's LD, Moogle Rush, freaking adorableness. Mog gonna do some damage, and there is going to be a party HP heal, and this HP heal is carried over to the LD call action. So if you are lacking in LD call actions that do that have HP healing, again, Mog is might not be a bad consideration to pick up. Now the LD will grant Water Harmony to Mog that special effect for 12 turns instead of 8. Now, mind you, with Mog's second ability, Water Harmony, it is still granted for 8 turns. The LD is the only thing that will that will grant Mog Water Harmony for 12 turns. Not only that, with the LD passives, there's gonna be more benefits added to Water Harmony, the special effects. So now there is a Brave region of by 10% of Max Brave. So remember that stat increases to Max Brave. This is where it will come into play. This will further decrease the enemy speed by 10%. So now total, the enemy speed is decreased by 20%. And El Nino and Plasma will be upgraded to the plus forms. And Plasma Plus, this is where now it is a 30% chance to inflict Confuse on the enemy. So just a little bit over a 1 in 4 chance to inflict Confuse on the enemies, which can can make or break some situations. There's been plenty of times where I've had like Porum and Confuse triggered, and oh man, that has saved me plenty of times. Alright friends, so when it comes to Mog... How worthy are they of your precious tickets and or gems? Now, I'm going to say that this is going to vary drastically depending if you are a newer or veteran player because if you are a... Now, first and foremost, I'm going to say that I love what Mog does, okay? As a unit, that's why I asked, was Mog like a, some kind of like blue mage or red mage in Final Fantasy VI? Because we got a little bit of everything. We got some HP healing. We got some Brave Battery, we got some Party Stat Increases, and we got some debuffs built into Mog's kit, and we got some debuff uh, cleansing on top of Brave Damage up towards your party members, all right? So I absolutely love what Mog does. So if you are a newer player, I might seriously consider picking up Mog and adding them onto your team compositions. Now, I wouldn't say Mog is pity worthy, especially if you're you're a veteran player because we have uh, we do have more units on our team compositions that can fill some of these roles. So it really depends on your team comps and how new you are to the game. All right, friends. So not necessarily pity worthy, but definitely above somewhat worthy of your precious tickets and or gems. All right, friends. So that's that's where I'm going to be leaving Mog on my worth a meter. Now, Mog does repeat later down the line. Let's say, for example, you did miss out on Mog or you don't have the resources to pull for Mog now as Mog the Banner with Terra's Burst Weapon. There is no free multi-draw on the Banner. And if you were to ask me, this is perhaps the best Burst Banner to pick up Terra's Burst Weapon on. But if you do miss out on Mog, Mog does repeat later down the line on Zidane's Burst Plus Banner 
alongside Sid Reigns LD banner. And oh boy, let me tell you, Sid Reigns is, is an absolute busted chase unit. Let me put it, let me put it into perspective. Sid Reigns can casually do, along with the entire team, okay? Sid Reigns can casually do a million damage, HP damage, during a chase sequence. All right, just, just to put it into perspective. All right, guys, so if you do miss out on Mog now, there's a chance to pick him up later down the line. All right, friends, so that is it for this video, friends. I want to thank you guys for watching my coverage over Mog. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments your overall thoughts about Mog and if you guys are going to be chasing after Mog. Me personally, I am going to throw maybe at least at least 100 tickets, maybe 200, just because I like the adorableness of Mog, all right? You know, the whole Kupopo thingy. It, it's freaking adorable. I love it. And I do like what Mog actually does, as you guys heard me mention, especially the 20% Brave damage up on top of the potential party uh, cleansing added in Mog's. Okay, all right, friends. So I'm, I'm looking at 100, 150, maybe at most, at most 200 tickets. For Mog's LD weapon. I do have EX tokens if I do happen to pick up Mog's LD weapon along the process. All right, friends. So all your wonderful thoughts down below in the comments. Be sure to check out those uh, links to those to the database, compendium, and material about down below in the description. And until next time, friends, good luck and have a good one.